No more old age pension will be issued to those Guyanese living overseas. This is a move being pursued by the new government under the Social Protection Ministry headed by Minister Walter Lawrence. But then we have persons who believe that it is their right to live in a foreign country and collect their pension here. And we are saying to them, no, that is not going to happen. Describing it as double dipping, Minister Lawrence believes that it is unfair for persons to have access to pensions from both the Ghana government and the country in which they live. We educated to the staff that where those books are issued with the knowledge that the officers will be held responsible for that and they will be surcharged. Ever since the minister's interview with the government information agency went viral, many on social media have been expressing their dissatisfaction with this move. Most persons believe that regardless of where they are now, these pensioners have put in years of work in Guyana and deserve their benefits. Meanwhile, Minister Lawrence pointed out that the issue of double dipping also extends to public assistance for school-aged children. But such matters are expected to be sorted out as the ministry continues to digitalize its operations. I'm very certain that the number of persons that we are catering for, that the number will go down. And I'm also um, looking forward to the fact that we'll have timely reports. And so we'll be able to, with assistance of the ministry and citizens trip, be able to stop payments, which we cannot do now, it takes a while, to stop payments immediately, we can block out a name. When we would have received the information that this person is now deceased, we can immediately block that name. The Social Protection Ministry is expected to partner with the Ministry of Public Telecommunications to execute a pilot of this electronic project.